Well, the coronavirus says you can tell us put the sports world on hold. So while we've got a little bit less going on, we're giving you a blast from the past. A look back at some great sports memories. And tonight, we've got the NCAA tournament on our minds. In case you need your fix, let's hop in the time machine to 28 years ago, March 20th, 1992, when both UTEP and New Mexico State pulled first-round upsets. The ninth-seeded Miners defeated Evansville 55-50 to in Dayton, Ohio, while 12-seed New Mexico State pulled the classic 12-5 upset of DePaul, 81-73 in Tempe. Arizona. Now for UTEP, Marlon Maxey scored 23 points and A. Rivera hit a big late jumper to push them over the top. Meanwhile, NMSU had four players scoring in double figures in their win, including current Las Cruces High School basketball coach William Benjamin. And we caught up with Benjamin as well as the voice of the minors, John Teicher, to discuss a banner day for Borderland basketball 28 years ago. That was the first time we won a, a first round uh, uh, Tournament game since I was at since I was at school. We went to the tournament for three years, so that was my last year, my senior year. So that was just man, I can't I can't explain how happy I was. UTEP just had a tremendous team with players plugged in to seemingly every role that played their role absolutely perfectly. Now, obviously, New Mexico State's wins in 1992 were wiped off the record books because of NCAA violations, but. They still won the game. They still remember it well. We'll hear from Teicher and Benjamin on Sunday, the anniversary of another big day for the Miners and Aggies.